Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Kaldheim is here. This new set has all kinds of great new cards, great flavor, and fun new commanders to play. We recently got into talks with TCG Player about this new set. They issued us a challenge. They said, hey, why don't Playing With Power, the Spike Feeders, Casually Competitive, and Play To Win all get together and duke it out in a Kaldheim CEDH game? Everyone thought it was a great idea and each channel picked a commander and started brewing. They each sent a player from their channel to represent them in the match. We have played a total of four games, and each team will be showcasing their game on their respective channels. It was a ton of fun, and now you get to see how each of those games turned out. Remember, check out the other games on each channel to see how the other matches played that evening. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Adam, representing Casually Competitive MTG. Adam brought in Turgrid, God of Fright. This deck is a stacks and discard deck seeking to steal and sacrifice opponents' permanents. Adam's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Dark Ritual, Demonic Tutor, Inquisition of Kozilek, Swamp, and his London Mulligans are a Mox Opal and a Knight's Whisper. Next, we have Mike, representing Playing With Power MTG. Mike brought in Orvar, the All Form. This is a Storm deck seeking to leverage Orvar's abilities to create copies of his artifacts and go for a combo finish. Mike's opening hand contains a Phyrexian Metamorph, Force of Will, Hull Breacher, Sensei's Divining Top, Chrome Mox, Mystic Remora, and an Island. After that, we have Dylan, representing Play to Win. Dylan brought in Bergy, God of Storytelling. This deck is also a Storm deck, seeking to use Bergy's ability to ramp mana and eventually go for a combo win. Dylan's opening hand contains a Chromatic Star, Dockside Extortionist, Bonus Round, Simeon Spirit Guide, Mox Opal, Cloudstone Curio, and a Mountain. Finally, we have Jan, representing the Spike Feeders. Jan brought in Jorn, God of Winter. This deck is a snow permanent stacks deck looking to lock down the board with stasis locks and break parity with its commander. Jan's opening hand contains a Windswept Teeth, Oko Thief of Crowns, Polluted Delta, Ponder, Dark Confidant, Demonic Tutor, and his London Mulligan is a Freed from the Real. Without further ado, let's kick off this crazy content creator combatant comeuppance. Adam wins the cutest YouTube channel mascot contest and gets to start us off. Adam draws a card for turn and then plays a Swamp. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Dark Ritual, adding 3 black. He casts his commander, Turgrid, God of Fright, on turn 1. In response, Mike casts Force of Will, exiling a blue card, and paying 1 life. Turgrid is countered, and Adam passes the turn. Mike draws a card for turn, and then plays an Island. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Pact of Negation. He casts Mystic Remora. He follows up with a Sensei's Divining Top. With an Explosive Start completed, and off to the races, Mike passes the turn. Dylan draws a card for turn, and then plays a Mountain. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Extortionist resolves, and Dylan creates four treasures. On turn one, he sacks three treasures to cast his commander, Bergy, God of Storytelling. Dylan ends his turn. Jan draws a card for turn, and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it for an Underground Sea. He casts Ponder. Mystic Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Jan looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles, and draws. Jan passes the turn. During his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and then plays a Swamp. He casts Demonic Tutor. Mystic triggers and Mike draws. Adam fetches up a card into his hand and then Adam gives a turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws and then plays an Island. Mike ends his turn. Dylan draws and starts off his turn by casting Chromatic Star. Bergy triggers and Dylan adds a red. Mystic Remora triggers and Mike draws. Dylan casts a Mox Opal, adding another red from Bergy and Mike draws from Remora. He casts Magda, Brazen Outlaw, adding a red from Bergy. He attacks Mike with Bergy and Dockside. Mike takes it, and Dylan passes the turn. Jan draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it for a Tropical Island. He casts Dark Confidant. Jan passes. During his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and casts a Torpor Orb. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Dylan, knowing his deck is shut off from this effect, responds by casting Tibalt's Trickery, targeting Torpor Orb. Remora triggers, and Mike draws again. Knowing that Orb can shut down Dylan's explosive wins, Mike decides to respond by casting Muddle the Mixture. Muddle counters Trickery, and Torpor Orb resolves. Adam gives the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike lets his Mystic Remora die. 
He draws and then plays an Adventure's Fair. He casts a Soul Ring. Mike passes. Dylan draws and moves the combat. He attacks Adam with Bergy, Dockside, and Magda. Magda triggers and Dylan creates a treasure. Adam takes it and in his second main phase, Dylan sacrifices Chromatic Star to draw a card. He casts a Cloudstone Curio. Dylan passes. During his upkeep, Jan reveals a Priest of Titania off of Dark Confidant. He draws and then casts Priest of Titania. He attacks Mike with Dark Confidant. Mike takes it and Jan ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Mike flashes in a Hull Breacher. Also, he activates Sensei's Divining Top, looking at the top three and rearranging. Mike draws and starts off his turn by casting Jeweled Lotus. He floats mana and casts Dramatic Reversal, untapping his non-land permanents. He casts Time Twister. Everyone sighs, and Time Twister resolves. Everyone shuffles their hands and graveyards into their libraries, Mike draws seven, and Mike creates 21 treasures through his Hull Breacher. Next, Mike cracks his Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Orvar, the All Form. He sacrifices his Inventor's Fair and fetches up a Coveted Jewel into his hand. He casts Coveted Jewel. It resolves, and Mike draws three cards as it enters. Mike casts Thermal Flux, targeting Coveted Jewel. Orvar triggers, and Mike creates a copy of Coveted Jewel. It enters, and Mike draws three cards. With Thermal Flux still on the stack, Mike casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Flux. Mike copies Thermal Flux and returns it to his hand with a copy targeting Coveted Jewel. Orvar triggers, Mike creates another Coveted Jewel and draws three more cards. Mike recasts Thermal Flux, targeting Coveted Jewel. Orvar triggers, he creates another copy and draws three cards. Mike casts Twiddle, targeting Jewel. Orvar triggers again, he creates another copy and draws three more cards. Then Twiddle resolves and Mike untaps Coveted Jewel. Mike casts Candelabra of Thanos. He casts a Sapphire Medallion. He casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He transmutes Dizzy Spell. He fetches up a Whim of Volrath into his hand. He casts Whim of Volrath with buyback, targeting Sapphire Medallion. Orvar triggers and Mike creates another Sapphire Medallion. Then Whim resolves and Mike returns Whim to his hand. Mike demonstrates a loop of casting Whim of Volrath with buyback, reduced through his two Sapphire Medallions, targeting Coveted Jewel. Every time he does, Orvar triggers and Mike creates a copy to tap for more mana and draws three cards each time. After Mike has drawn his deck, he casts Cyclonic Rift, bouncing Torpor back to Adam's hand. Mike then casts Thassa's Oracle. It resolves, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy end to the game that was. Congrats to Mike on his win. His deck was doing all kinds of awesome things, and his ability to copy with his commander is a really cool synergy. Remember, this wasn't the only game we played that night. Be sure to check out the other channels for their respective games to see how the rest of the battles went. All the decks are in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. We wanted to thank the Spike Feeders, Casually Competitive MTG, and Play to Win for their awesome games we had that evening. It was a blast to play, and we can't wait to play with them all again. We also wanted to thank TCG Player for the great idea. If you wanted to support these channels and support TCG Player, be sure to visit the links in the description below. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. If you liked this video and wanted to help out, give us a like and consider subscribing and ringing the bell to be notified of new videos as they come out. Also, if you wanted to help out further, be sure to check out our Patreon. We have all kinds of benefits and there are all kinds of rewards for your direct support. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Okay, I wanted to give a Patreon shout out to Tyler Hancox, Snarps the Kleft, I think that's right, RJ Johnson, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Brandon Harper, Marcus Tomey, Toomey, Tomey, Toomey, Dustin Maye, Josh, Josh Kovac, Josh Kovac, man, yeah, maybe, <laughs> Baby Jeebus, Mox Rob, Trey Payne, Rakeko, Baskin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wayan, Spielrahu, Road Grode Medflode, CZ, and Nick. Thanks again, everyone. Really appreciate it.